was staying with the legislature, and though legislators have emphasized the importance of transcending uh, just beyond making laws for the people to benefit from democracy, a member representing Isako Federal Constituency, Anamero De Kerry, announced his intention to contest in the 2024 governorship election, citing lack of development and amenities in the state. De Kerry aims to bring positive changes across critical sectors, including economic growth, education, healthcare, infrastructural development, and social welfare, among others. Uh, if you look at our micro segment, our state, the sub-nation, I hear of things that are terrifying. Our uh, people are, can no longer go about their, norm, their legitimate businesses. People are living in fear. Even you, who can barely move 8 p.m. at night in your own state. When people are subject to uh, uh, where your freedom is interrupted as a human being, that is the beginning of your death. Do we have another state to call our own? And we can't, I can't afford to say, oh, let me stay back and um, let me stay back at, um, in the, at the National Assembly yeah, because of it. No. We need to, whatever we are doing, come down to this Edo state, sacrifice, do whatever we need to do. Let's talk to our people. Our youth should no longer lose hope. Today, Edo State is, Edo state is emigrating in droves. We are all holed up in Bini, in Bini City, where people are supposed to live their quality life. The life expectancy rate is depreciating. And we are saying, oh, well, I, should go in, I should go to Abuja and be legislating. Where my state is on fire, I think it's a consideration we all need to make, we all need to look at. Thank Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.